Hey there, welcome back to Pepper Geek. In today's video, I'm gonna go through some of the most beautiful pepper varieties. So if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know there are a plethora of different pepper varieties. I have a few examples in front of me today that you would consider more of an ornamental pepper. While all peppers are edible, some of them are best grown to improve the aesthetic look of your garden. And I'll go through some of those types today. If you watched last week's video, you did see some of these peppers, but I'm gonna cover some that we're not growing this year, some that we'd really like to grow in the future that have special characteristics. If you haven't already, check us out on Instagram. We're currently running an experiment to see if we can plant seeds in June and still get ripe pot by the end of the season here in Connecticut. So for fun experiments like that and for regular updates on our garden, check us out at Pepper Geek. Okay, so the first plant I'm gonna cover is this right here. This is the black pearl pepper. We've shown it on our channel a few times and it just has so many special things going on here. First of all, it has black foliage and black stems. We're growing many different dark foliage varieties this year, but this one just seems to have the nicest sheen to it. The leaves almost have an iridescent quality to them. Uh, it just looks incredible on a sunny day. And the more sunlight it gets, the better, the darker the foliage will be. It also has purple flowers, as you can see here, this deep, rich purple color. And then the fruits start out this dark, almost black color and eventually ripen to a rich red color. So I can't wait to see all of these berry-like fruits coming in bright red. It's gonna just look so amazing against that dark foliage. So this one would work great as a potted plant like we have it here, but you could also put it around the edges of your garden. If you have garden beds, it could go in the corners or something like that. It's a relatively small plant, as you can see. I don't think it would get much bigger than this, even if it were planted in a larger pot. It is an annual variety, but if it did get bigger, I think it would just look better. So. so that's the black pearl pepper. You can definitely eat the peppers. They are a little bit spicy, but generally this plant is grown to be looked at rather than for the edible fruits. Okay, so moving on to another annuum variety. This is the fish pepper. We've talked about this before. We grew it last year and we just fell in love with the foliage and the beautiful variegation on the peppers themselves. These sort of put on a fireworks display. They'll start out with this greenish white color on the peppers, and over time they ripen through this sort of orange to a dark brown color, all with stripes, and then at the very end they ripen to a rich red color without stripes. Again, we didn't really find these peppers to taste very good. Uh, they would be good in a powdered form or something like that, but really this plant is just great to look at. It adds that white color that you really don't get in many pepper varieties. And I would say we get the most questions about where to get seeds for this plant right here, but there's definitely some contenders for the coolest pepper variety coming up. The fish pepper also has a very rich history. It was basically almost erased from history but one seed saver kind of saved the variety. We wrote all about it. We were so intrigued by this pepper that we did a lot of research and wrote an article about the fish pepper. So I'll leave a link down below to that if you'd like to read more. Okay, moving over here, this is the jigsaw pepper. Very similar to the fish pepper in terms of foliage. It has that variegation on the leaves. It has more of a spotted variegation. But what I really love about this variety is that there are purples mixed into the green and white on the leaves. On the white leaves, you can sort of see these purple veins. It just looks amazing. Again, this variety also has purple flowers and the pods are purple. There is a very faint variegation on the pods. If you look closely, you can sort of see some stripes on the peppers themselves, but not nearly as much as the fish pepper. They're basically just a purple pepper, eventually ripening to red. I also really love the deep green color here. If you look at it against the fish pepper, you can see just how much darker the green is on these leaves. Uh, I, I think this is one of the prettiest peppers we've ever grown. The dark foliage is cool and the fish pepper is very neat for the peppers themselves. But in terms of foliage, this jigsaw pepper has got to be one of the best looking peppers we have grown to date. So as you can see, we have it here alongside two other peppers and it just adds a nice splash of color in there with these taller green varieties. Uh, just really spices things up in the garden and you can keep it in a pot or again around the edge of your garden beds. Now back to the subject of darker foliage. There are many varieties that have dark foliage and you can see here I've shown this plant before. This one has dark foliage as well although it's not nearly as dark as the black pearl. Uh, those purples really come in especially when it gets lots of sunlight. But I basically just want to cover the Chinen species 
of dark foliage plants. I went through many of them in our garden tour video last week, so I'll leave a link to that video down below if you wanna see more of these types of peppers. The peppers come in purple, they're very dark, and then they eventually ripen to a number of different colors. This one here is an experimental variety. There are plenty of dark foliage Chinen species varieties out there, like the pink tiger or the black panther. All of the breeders out there are just going crazy with the purple genetics, uh, breeding it into all different types of peppers, and it's just really cool to follow along and grow them yourself. Because when it comes to growing this type of plant, it's really no different than growing your habanero pepper, but you end up with a very interesting, cool plant like this one here. And this one is just loaded with peppers, as you can see on the back there. They're all ripe, ready to pick. Very interesting, kind of scary shape. I did taste one of these the other day and they're very hot. Um, not the best flavor, honestly, but again, very cool to look at. One other variety I wanted to cover that we're not growing this year is the Chinese five color pepper. It's another pepper that goes through a display of different colors, hence the name. It goes through five different color stages before ripening fully. And we'd love to grow those next year and see how they taste. But again, those peppers are known as ornamentals. They can be eaten, they're spicy but they're really just used to add splashes of color throughout your garden. I will leave links down below to get seeds for any of these pepper varieties. I'll also leave the name of each of these peppers in the description below so you can do your own research if you'd like. Before I go, next week's video is gonna be all about how to make peppers grow faster. So if you're interested in learning some tips about that topic, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and stay tuned. So what did you think? What's your favorite pepper out of the ones I showed you today? What other ornamental pepper varieties have you grown or seen that you might want us to grow in the future? We'd be happy to accommodate, and of course we have more space now to grow more peppers. We're very much looking forward to next year, and we'd love to grow some new stuff next year to show you here on the channel. Thanks so much for watching Pepper Geek, and I'll see you next time.